PowerShell has within it a command called import module. Now, of course, the module has to be present in the file system for it to see that. But what's going on behind the scenes is when Microsoft products uh, or other products that have PowerShell modules in them, and they, not, they are not all Microsoft products, other products can also add PowerShell commands. Um, when, when you install those products, the module, the files for the module are put into the file system as part of the installation. And then the installer runs an import module command and the name of that product, the name of that module, and then that module is put into PowerShell. Now that's exactly what you saw go on uh, when we looked at this section up here when we added the Active Directory commands to PowerShell. So after this we're going to begin to talk about the two ways that, that PowerShell does this, the older way, the snap-ins, and then the newer way called the modules.